what are we talking about? Let's see, wingsuit deployments. All right, there's a few key things about wingsuit deployments. Each factor influences one aspect. It's the part of the skydiver where we have to be the most attentive and the most focused. Wingsuit cutaways are a really big deal. A wingsuit adds a great deal of complications. Our arms are restricted. We have a massive amount of surface area that can change our airspeed or create a burble that could make our reserve pilot chute less effective. We're much more prone to having line twists or body twists under our open reserve. So we have to put a lot of effort into getting a good main canopy over our heads. There's three critical factors, altitude, airspeed, and symmetry. Altitude's pretty obvious. In the categories of airspeed and symmetry, what we need to do is decelerate, regain clean airflow over the top surface of our wingsuits, and maintain a symmetric body configuration. A very controlled way to reduce your airspeed is by what we call flaring. A flare is a series of actions combined to achieve a goal. Specifically for wingsuits, a flare involves increasing your angle of attack, slowing your descent rate and airspeed, and setting the proper pitch attitude for deployment. And that means flying an angle of attack that gives us a smooth airflow over the top surface of our wingsuits. You're flying along, you want to initiate a bit of a flare. That means change your angle of attack. Now you slow down, then you maintain a level flight after that. And when I say level, that doesn't mean you're cruising up with zero descent rate. That means you're at more of a natural trim speed or cruising speed for your wingsuit. Gaining altitude in a flare is totally unnecessary for a successful wingsuit deployment. What's essential for wingsuit deployment is airspeed control. Each jumper, based on the size and type of their wingsuit, their main parachute, and how they've configured the rest of their equipment, will have an ideal speed range for their deployment. Fly symmetrically during the deployment process and hold a symmetric body position. Stay symmetrical, keep flying your body, then start flying your parachute. It's as simple as that. And the final factor, one which is probably just about the most important. If I had to pick one thing, I might just pick this, and that is riser control. If you can get a hold of your risers, you're going to prevent body twists most of the time. Body twists happen when you rotate underneath your already open parachute or your opening parachute. The most effective prevention for body twists is riser control. Remember that if you go from your flight position, reach back to your BOC, and attempt to get to your risers from this position with your hands behind you at the BOC, it's going to be very difficult. However, if you bring your arms back in front of your chest and reach forward, the sleeves of your wingsuit will raise up on your wrists a little bit, and it'll be much easier to reach your risers. You only need to grab the bottom of your risers. You just have to get even a couple of fingers just at the bottom of your risers. That's all it takes to keep your body aligned underneath your opening parachute. That deployment process takes a few seconds, so relax, maintain symmetry, and breathe a little bit. There's a theme here for good openings with wingsuits, and it's continue flying, right? That means all sorts of things. It starts out by meaning continuing flying with laminar flow in as little burble as possible at a low airspeed. It means continue flying, staying symmetrical to your body, straight, not inducing a turn in one way or the other, causing potential line twists. Continue flying, it means once you're sat upright in your harness, you're controlling the parachute by reaching for your risers and keep control, positive control of your body with your parachute while it's deploying. So all that big long theme is continue flying. Never give up flying when you're trying to open your parachute. If you have an older seven cell parachute that's supposedly wingsuit friendly, it probably works great. If you're having issues with deployments on that older parachute, you don't necessarily need to go out and buy something new to fix them. What you need to do is follow these three steps. If you can pull at the right altitude, if you can pull at the right airspeed, and if you can fly symmetrically during the deployment process and hold a symmetric body position, your openings are gonna be pretty good. If you're working on this stuff and it still feels like you're struggling, don't worry, keep at it. Remember, there's a very short window that you get to practice this on every jump. You have all this other time to practice your full wingsuit flight and your full canopy flight in a very short, brief amount of time that you're able to practice the deployment flight characteristics. So keep at it, you're gonna get better, stay focused, and you're awesome. <laughs>